I will show you how to solve the legal question 912 sort uh, array and it's a median question on the legal. Given an array of integers, basically nums, sort the array in ascending order. It looks like a very easy question and we can totally use the Python's um, sort function. If we simply just do the sort function, and it'll work as well and you can see it gets the array sorted but most likely if you encounter this question in your interview your interviewer is not gonna let you solve your question by doing this so today we're gonna solve this problem in a concept called merge sort so let's say i have our array of five two three one right so what we're gonna do is basic algorithm of the merge sort is you want to divide this and conquer so the divide step is let's say first i want to divide this array to five two and then two part and the second part is being three one and then next step i'm going to continue to divide this array to five um and then two and then three and and one and then after i divide it that's a divide phase and after uh, i divide i want to merge them together basically the conquer phase and then how do i merge them together what i do is i will compare the first two number five and two so is five bigger than two so i'm gonna sort five and two first it will look something like this and between three and one i'm gonna sort one and three like this and the next step i will merge two five and the array one three together when i merge i will look at it okay then it's one and then it's two and then merge three and then five so then the array got sorted so the concept of merge sort is basically divide the array and then you merge them together and then the rest of the array you can do it recursively I'm gonna show you how to do this in code so in first I want we want to rule out the situation if nums is smaller or equal than one the length of the array then we don't need to sort at all in that case we will just return the nums right the next step what we're gonna try to do is to divide the array we'll divide the array into half and so we need to find the midpoint of the array the way we find the midpoint of the array is we want to take the length of the array and divide by two and this is the it's not really the divide in python this way it will get the integer of when you divide so the result will return as an integer once we find out this the midpoint of the array we want to set the entire array into two part so we want to say the left part of the array will equals start the array will from the index zero to the index midpoint and then the right side of the array will equals to the num starting from the m basically the middle number until the end of the array and these are the python's method to specify the array and after we divide the array we'll call the same sort array function to run recursively run this function on the rest of the array so basically how we call the function inside of this function is self dot array and then we're going to call the left and then self sort array and then we're going to do this on the right side and once we sort the left and the sort the right and we'll get the result so this is the divide part and then we're gonna have to merge them together after when i showed you the concept of the merge sort after you divide them you want to merge them together and the way you merge them together is um, you want to enumerate the left array the right array to merge them together so I'm gonna have to give it a few 
、uh, value at the beginning. So I will be used for the left array. J will be used for the right array, and basically K is the number we are、uh, merging at, like a pointer. So while I smaller than the length of the left array and J smaller than the right array. So in that case, start merging them together. There's a left and number. So if left array's i index value is smaller than the right side index value at the j index, so I want to specify the norms k. Basically, the array that got merged equals to the small value. Basically, the i index in the left array. And after I do that, I want to shift the, the left pointer in the left array. So basically, i plus one. And then else is if the left i is bigger than the right j. In that case, I want to say norms k equals to the right j. Basically, pick a small number. And after I done that, I also wanted to shift the pointer on the right side array. And then in either case, for the both if and else, what I need to do is I will. Increase the pointer for the k, so I can enumerate through the entire array. So most case, you think that okay, left and right, I have already merged the, the array. If the entire array is like an even number, like a five, two, three, one, right? But what if there's still numbers left in the other array when we take the middle point? So the left array and the even right arrays. Length is not equal. In that case, what I we need to do is take the rest of the array on the left side and the right side. So if while the i length is smaller than the left array, which means the the left array still has items left. So in this case, the nums k. This value, the current pointer, we just need to take the last value from the i, from the left array. So in that case, I need to shift the, the i pointer. After I take the array, I want to shift the, the k pointer too. So same thing also happens for the right side of the array. If there's still array, uh. There are still numbers, integers left in the right side of the array, and I wanted to do the. I wanted to put a k as the right side of the array in the j pointer, j plus equal one and k plus equal one, right? And then after this, I have successfully merged both of the left array and the right array. So the result, what I need to do is just actually return the nums array because I enumerated the array with a k pointer in the nums array itself. And when I run code. It's successfully get this sorted. So actually, merge sort is one of my favorite algorithm. It's pretty easy and straightforward. And you can see when I run this, it's faster than fifty nine percent, one point three on the code. If you think this is helpful, give it. A thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because I'll have more legal questions coming up. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.